Miss Monkey 1000 and today I got a new parcel. Yesterday I didn't open it up because I had to work and then by the time I got home it was late and I was tired. So today we're going to open this one up. Yes, it's for the kitchen. I'm sure you already guessed what it is, but I will open it up and show you what I got. And then we're going to put our, we're going to do our thing with this and show you what it looks like. I'm opening this up, and this is my other one that I had ordered. So they really box these things. Nicey, nicey! I'm excited. Okay. Wow, this is really nice. So this is the bamboo drawer organizer that I bought. I'm gonna bring it up a little closer so you can see. Yeah, very nice. Ooh, this is gonna be nice, nice, nice. So I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with this. Very nice. This is the, the largest one that I could find because that's the, the drawer I'm gonna put it in is gonna be quite large. This has 100% bamboo. It is free of toxics. It is eco-friendly, of course. And it's beautiful and intelligent design. It's extra deep. It's up to 24 inches internal depth. And it's sleep resistant silicone pads on the bottom so it doesn't slide. And quality guaranteed. So here we go. Oh, isn't that cute? It's got a little smiley thing on the box. So they welcome you. That's very nice. I got this off of Amazon. Your smile every time you open your drawer. Smiles. As a small family business, we are passionate about our art and have designed this organizer to depth new life into your drawer. We've created a range of untouched products that you'll absolutely love. They are toxic free and made using 100% pure sustainable bamboo and nothing else. We thank you for your purchase this eco-friendly product with love from Pristin Bamboo. That was kind of cool, you know, it's nice. Makes you feel like, you know, you're helping out a, a, a business, you know, a family business, you're not one of these big corporations, you know. So that's kind of nice. I like that. And they wrapped it very well. So. Very nice. My goodness, they have really wrapped it. It's still in plastic here. Wow. So they want to make sure it's not damaged at all. I'm sure that's not cheap to ship. You know? Mm -mm. No. Not at all. Very nice. More plastic stuff here, so. Okay. It gives you a little card. Let's get connected. How to scan the code in 10 seconds. First, I guess it, how to scan the code in 10 seconds. Open the camera app on your phone. Make sure you are connected to the internet. Hold the device's camera up to your code. You know, one of those code things. I'm not going to do that. I, I don't have one of those code things on my phone. So um, It says thank you for making a difference. And it's got a little card here. So if you guys want to phrase it and read it, that's up to you. I'm not going to read the whole thing. So that's pretty cool. Very nice. And I'm going to take the silicone thing out, the little thing in there. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring it over closer to where I'm going to put it in my drawer, and we're going to fill it up. So we'll be right back. Okay guys, we have moved over here, and this is the drawer right here I'm going to use. Um, as you can see, it's nice and big, huge. So yeah, so we're going to take this, 
this is really nice quality. I really, really, really like it. And it's got the emblem on there. Very nice. And we're going to put it in the drawer. And this expands. I bought an expandable one. Oh yeah, it pretty much fits almost the whole whole thing. So you could probably, you know, I'd like to keep it on one side if I could. Yeah, might bring it forward and then you could close it like that. And there you go. Ooh, I like it. I like it. That's the biggest one I could get. So I could still put a little bit of something over here. I'm going to bring you down just a tad more so you can see a little bit better. Yeah, I'll put something right here. So, this is really nice. And this one here is from Ben. So, yeah, that's my ducky duck. Ducky duck! Thank you, Benny. Okay, so, now we're going to organize this. So, let's see. Maybe we'll put her forks here. And yeah, now I have mismatches and you know, so, but I don't, I used to have a blue kitchen, but then Shea Bear liked these. We found these and he liked them. So we got those. I got a mess over here. So it's going to take a little bit to get this going. And we'll see what we can do here. I'm not going to use that one. I got my butter knives. And we'll do our spoons maybe here. Do something like that. And yeah. So I thought I'd bring you along with all my treasures here. And we'll see. These should really be over here, I think. And then I'll put my smaller ones here. Nice. There. i do something like that. I don't know yet. I'm going to throw maybe some of this stuff out too, maybe. You know. So, yeah. We'll do it this way. And... See what we got because my drawer is quite a mess and I just threw everything in there because it was just such a mess anyways and every time I cleaned it it just got messier. So, and I wanted to wait until I got something nice. Got the kitchen done so before I bought something else. But to me that kitchen was like felt dirty you know because it wasn't clean. It didn't seem clean even if you cleaned it so. To me, it was just a mess. So now I can organize and make my life a lot easier, make everybody else's life easier because of it. Some of these are old. I don't know even where I got some of them. So, and these I bought them. Some of them I bought at Walmart, you know. So I've lost some and had to buy new ones, and I just buy the cheap ones. Okay, so we got the big ones here. Hmm. Let me see. We could put the little ones here, I guess. We could do that. We could do that there. Mm-hmm. I'll do it like that. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. So, here's another small one here. I don't know if I got that many small ones. We'll see. So, you don't know what you got until you unpack things. And then you're like, oh, I do have stuff, I think. Uh, yeah, that one's a bigger one. So we'll put it there. And these are small ones. I don't seem to have too many of the small ones either. I might be buying me some new ones. Yeah. I think I'll turn them this way. Yeah. We could do that, or we could put them down here. They'll fit in there. <sighs> and we'll do it this way. More knives, butter knives. Got lots of them. So, mm. there 
go. Not too bad. And I got these long ones here too. I only got a couple of those. They're for, you know, ice cream and stuff like that. So some of these need to be washed. Yeah. So I'll wash a couple of them and get them nice and clean. And, yeah. And we'll put these over here, I think. That will work. And oh, there's the thing for the for the um thing. Yeah. I got a little butter knife here. I'm gonna wash that. This needs to be washed. Ugh. And let me see here. We got like utensils here. And we've done a video on Shea Bear did a video on that, I believe. And we have that. And I have my potato slicer thing and this do down here. I can't remember what this was. Oh, oh, it's a, there you go. And you got two of these. And you can do one or the other. Yeah, see. And your shredder. It's a shredder. Oh, there you go. See, got two. That's cool. I think um, Shea Bear might have done a video on this one too. I'm going to wipe it down. It feels like it needs to be wiped. So make it cleaner. Yeah, he gets his greasy hands on stuff and does a video. Yeah. That's a mechanic for you. So I'll wipe it down a little bit. Get a little cleaner. And of course, my kitchen was not the greatest because of everything we were doing. But now it'll be nice. We'll all be able to enjoy this nice kitchen. So, we can put this stuff here so you can see it better. And ice cream scoop I'll put in here. Um, let me wipe down the pizza cutter here. And I'll put it in there. Our hot water tank that we had, it was just was, I don't think it was cleaning very well. Not as well as we thought. <laughs> but it's so much nicer to have the hot water tank. I'm glad that it happened when it did. Because, you know, having a new kitchen, it just, with the old hot water tank, it would have just ruined the inside of the sink. And, you know, my dishes are coming out a lot cleaner. And I'm going, oh my God, you know. You don't realize how dirty things can get with a hot water tank not working right. So I'm very glad that we did what we did. So, and that will help a lot. So I'll put this in here and it's gonna be right here and you can see it. Yep, nice and clean and you'll be able to see it. We'll have that there, and I'm gonna have his, his little brushy here. I don't know if I'll put this in here. I might, uh, I don't know yet. I'll leave it in here for now. So he, he knows where it is. He uses this brush a lot. This brush is very handy. Need a couple of more of them, really. They're very nice. I like the silicone stuff that they have out now. So they have some nice ones. This is a a cutter, knife cutter. He did a video on that one. I'm sure you remember if you've been on his channel. So I'll lay it over here. Maybe is uh, this is his um, oh, what do you call these same things? Garlic presser. He's got a nice garlic presser here. I notice it's not too clean either. So let's wipe this out. Clean. And I'll put this in here real quick. These things, the only problem with them, they're hard to clean. It's hard to get the inside of them. So, 
if you can get the handles okay, but the inside, it's really hard. You really need to rinse these right away as you're going. You know, you use it and rinse it out real quick. And then you probably don't have the problem. I think we bought this one at Winn-Dixie because you needed one. And uh, so they had them at Winn-Dixie. They're a little pricey. But it's a nice one. It's heavy. Works really good. So, as much as he cooks, it's good to have good quality because it's just going to break anyways if you don't have a good one. And we all like garlic really good, so we we have it quite a bit. I use it a lot. So, let me see here. Okay. And then you put your little doodad in here. I don't know if you guys are seeing me at the sink, but at least you guys can tell right here. I'm trying to put this thing back in there. There, see? Nice and clean. Yeah. So, there we go. We got some more little things over here. Here's another one of these spoons. I think I only have two of those. I don't think I have any more. I don't know. So, and we'll use some of these knives here. He, he likes these knives. I'd like to put these somewhere. Maybe I'll move this down in here because I only have one. I have a lot of these these knives here. And uh, I'm just wiping them down. There we go. And I used to have one of those blocks before and I think some of these are from the block from the other block that I have. I don't, I'm probably gonna keep the block for now. I don't know, this thing needs to be washed. Ugh. Oops, sorry. So you can see. Well, plenty of stuff in there, I'll tell you. It won't take long to fill this up at all. There we go. And I don't think it'll move either. No, see, it's, it's not going to move. So, well, it moved when I pushed it, but let's see if it'll move when we open and close it a little bit. I closed it, and we'll open it. Let's close it again. And see, they're self-closing, so I think that helps too. It doesn't make things move when they're self-closing because they close late, slowly near the end, so. That's very nice. Very, very nice. I'm happy. So, I'm gonna, these are knives. I'm gonna put them in my block I'll have over here, so, by the stove. This is, is this yours? No. This is my. I got that for a wedding gift. Did you? I came with a knife. Who got it for you, you know? You remember? So this is my mother's. So I, we kind of mix and match things because I mean, might as well use some of her stuff, you know, that I don't have. And, uh, <coughs> or it's just gonna sit in the shedding and rot. So, you know, it is, these are belonging in here. Cause I've shoved them in the drawer so much. Instead of putting them on the block because I couldn't get to the block because I had all kinds of stuff in the corner there and couldn't get to it. So it was like, ugh. So, let me see here. This right here is the pineapple thing that I think we did. Shea Bear made me a pineapple drink and he had to have a pineapple thing. And then he got really sick from the drink and I didn't. So, he's never made the pineapple drink again. It was really sweet, though. It was really too sweet for me. 
but yeah he's yeah but he doesn't really like sweet drinks he made it for me and uh, so but it was fun I think we did a video kind of on it a while back or he did one of us it's usually him because I let him do all his videos you know I mean for most of the stuff now I'm getting more involved in it more and more. <laughs> Go figure to think that I would be doing this. But it's fun. I enjoy doing it. And I like to show new products. And, you know, if we get something new, then you guys are seeing it. You know? I'm just going to put this, I think, down here. Because I really don't have any room over there. So, this is the other part, I think. It goes with it. There's another part. So, I have to go to the sofa and get it. I think there's another part to that. Yep, this piece here, and this is the directions here. Yeah, there's the directions for the pineapple thing. So there it is. Yep, and here's the other piece. So I'm going to wash this and probably keep this because it, it gives you directions and it's it's clear. Um, I'll probably just tuck it underneath here. If we ever want to use it again, we, we got it right there. So I'm going to wipe this down before I put it in there. I think that white thing's another um, a garlic press that we used. I believe that's what it is. It might be missing a piece. I might have to look for it. I don't know where it would be. I don't see it on the sofa. It might be over there. I'll have to check again. And make sure. Yeah, so get it nice and clean for the new drawers. You don't use this stuff in a long time. It, they seem to get dusty in there too. I just hope this is going to be nice and cleaner, you know. Just looks so nice. I really like it. Ooh. I feel like I'm really, you know, it's really nice to have a nice kitchen. I've never really had a nice kitchen yeah. ever, ever in any place. And uh yeah. So So this kind of goes with this. I think this is, yeah, I think this is a presser thing, but it's missing a piece. So I might not put that in there unless I find it. So this can go with this one. Yeah, I believe there's only two pieces to that sucker because it goes like this. This is the handle. And you squeeze it in there like that. And then you have your pineapple and you squeeze it in and turn it. And it takes the core out. I can't get in there to dry it, so I'll just let it dry on its own. It's, yeah, I might just leave it like that. Yeah, that made it too long though, didn't it? Well, I could put it right here, I guess. Yeah, just leave it there. I don't know if it'll close with that up there. Nope. Has to lay flat. It's gotta lay flat. So. We don't use it much, but it's nice to have it when you need it. I might put that there and put that there. Yeah, something like that. Just got to play with things until you get it the way you like it. This thing's garbage. I'm going to throw that out. I should keep this and put it over here. I'm going to wash this. I got this. It's dirty. I'm going to wash it and put it over my other container thing. And let's see what else we got in here. Oh, there's a screw thing for a screw thing. Oh, there it is. This is what this is. Okay. So this, you got this piece. This goes on top of here. And this is, goes in here. And you push it down as you turn in it. And it gets all the way down to the bottom and it squishes the garlic out through there. So... It's cool. I'll keep it. I'm going to wash the other part. Get it cleaned up. So, I'll make it look a little bit neater. 
And so I found that one. That's good. Mm, getting down to the nitty gritty. Okay. So I'll have this here. So if he wants to use this one instead of the other garlic one. But I think he really likes this one. That was a nice one. This one, he did a video on it too. So, yeah, so I'll try to dry them off the best I can. Okay, so what do we got next? I got my things here. What the hell is that for? Oh, I gotta keep this. Okay, so I got some measuring cups. I'm gonna put them more by the stove. I'm gonna wash them and clean them up and I'll put them over by the stove. This little doodad is for that green shredder thing that he may had done a video on and a review on um, on his channel. You can check it out. This is to clean that out. You take it and you brush it through the little, little teeth. So I have to keep this and they only give you one so if you don't keep this and you lose it, you can't clean it very well. So I need to keep this in this drawer so I know where it is. And there, I'll leave it there. So that works out good. Now, uh, this is stolen from Joe's Shab Crack. Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah. Yeah. I got this at uh, Joe's Crab Shack in uh, Daytona. I went with someone else, not Shea Bear, and we had, whoa, it was, it was the best food, I swear, expensive, but it was worth it, I thought, and I wanted to take Shea Bear there, and the last time we went, they were closed, because they had um, water issues, they were having water issues, so it was during the hurricane, went after the hurricane, and uh, we went out to the ocean, and I really wanted to take them there. Still haven't got there, so maybe one time I'll take them there. That's my little souvenir for my crabs. I got the mixture, the bucket one that you get everything. Man, we ate the crap out of that because it's like you could, two people could eat it. It was crap. It was everything. It was lobster, crab. It was mixture. <laughs> it was like a, you know, like a sample. But it was huge. It was it was really huge. So that was cute. <clears throat> I'd like to go back there. You been to the one in Daytona? Ma? No, this is the one in Orlando. Oh really? Never never did the one in Daytona. No. Mm. <coughs> yeah. <clears throat> it was right after the hurricane we went. Where is it located? Right on the pier. Where the dance thing used to be on the pier? You know, I think we did go with Wendy. <laughs> did and you? Her girlfriend. I think we went, and we were really disappointed in the meal. Really? Oh my God! I had a great time. They do a they do a dance, and they they come to your table and sing and all kinds of stuff. Did they do that? No. Oh, they did. Yeah, for us it was fun. We had a good time. Yeah, they do a whole dance thing, and if it. Asked me and Wendy and her girlfriend. Uh, can't remember her name. Um, we all went together and Wendy was really, and Wendy gets really nasty when people give her a bad meal. Yeah. She's been a waitress, so. Well, yeah, and I do too because, you know, you go and you spend a lot of money in these places. You spend a lot of money. Yeah, you do. You do in those places and you expect it to be perfect. Yeah. But my meal was very good. It was excellent. I had no well, trouble. this is the same place. I can't remember. It was place. right on the pier at the very end where the dance place was. They, they took over it. It's not a dance thing anymore. Oh. Yeah, they have it on the bottom, and then you can go upstairs, and you can have cocktails and that upstairs. Uh -huh. But the restaurant's on the bottom, right at the end of the pier. Yeah. Maybe it's not the same place I'm taking. Yeah, I got a baby spoon here. My daughter left her baby spoon for one of her babies, so I'll keep it. Just in case they ever show up, at least I have a baby spoon. You know. Or she has another baby. Oh, she better not. She's got three. That's enough. Enough for me. No more children. She doesn't need any more. No, three's enough. So... 
Oh yeah, I had a great time, but when I took Marty there, sorry, Shea Bear there, um, it was uh, closed because they had a bathroom problem, so you couldn't eat in the restaurant at all. I think you could go upstairs and have cocktails, but they only had certain cocktails yeah. that had no water with it or whatever. They were using bottled water, and uh, so we didn't get there. We went there for a concert because they were they do a summer concert thing in Daytona at the Band Shell, and um, that's pretty fun. Yeah. They had some really good ones. Yeah, I'd love to go. And uh, so. I miss Daytona. Oh, I, I I miss having all these concerts and stuff. That's what I miss the free concerts that you can go because a lot of these free concerts are a lot better than the ones you pay. You know, all these professional people they get a little bit overboard on the lighting and technical things and you, you know sometimes simple is just better you know and there's another baby spoon this was mine no that it was originally Bob's my well, godmother's well how did I get it she gave it to you oh she gave it to me <laughs> okay so I have this and I keep it so I'll put it here with the other baby spoon and that's pretty much it. I got a couple of knives here. I think this was an old knife that came out of my other block thing. These are cheap knives. Uh, half the time they don't even, they're not that great. Shaber don't like them. Um, they're good for a while and then they say, I got a nick in this one. I think I'll just throw this one out. Because I got plenty. It's not like I am don't have any knives. So I'll put this in here just in case I need that knife. Here's another baby spoon. This was my children's baby spoon. And my son bit it. He liked to bite it. So I keep it. Ah. One of those keepsaking things. I think pretty much. Let me see what I got on the sofa left. And we'll see what we're going to do with this stuff here. Alright. This is a good can opener. Oh, so. That didn't take long. No, I really don't have a lot, but I have. Uh, well, when you have those small drawers, too, it was, you know, making it look like I had, had no room. I have a can opener here. This one, I don't really like it. Um, should I should ditch this one. Yeah. And I have this one. This is a cool little can opener. It works really good, so I'm just going to leave it in here. What happened to the other can opener? The red one? Yeah. I don't know. You had it last. I don't know where it is. Hmm. I thought it was on the couch. Uh, let me see if I can see it over there. Yeah, the red one. It's missing. Yeah. It's missing. Nope. Unless it's in there. It could be in here because it was in my cabinet and it could be in here because I could put it together here. Let me see what I got. Well, I got this thing here. So maybe the other one's in here too. Gosh. That was a good can opener too. Ah. Oh, we can't find There it is. Okay. So I found both of these. And I'll show you what these ones are. These are really good ones. So, I have here, I have this one. This is a really good one. This is the best can opener I have. And then this one here, the little green one, is a good can opener too. It's smaller. You have to use this manually. This is battery operated, so you just put it on and it does its thing. This is very good and very handy. I'll put that there. And we'll put that there. And then I have the jar opener that we got at a yard sale for 99 cents. And I think Shea Bear did a video on this one. And it works pretty good. It needs probably new batteries. And you just clip it on to whatever size of your jar is. And you push the button and it, it clicks the, bar, the um, jar lid open. So a very handy thing, uh, especially for people who can't do it. So, like grandma. yeah, so, yep, so I'll see if it'll fit in here. I don't know if it'll fit in here or not without me having to move a bunch of stuff. <coughs> so, yeah, 
I don't think it will. I'll have to find another spot for this. I don't use it too much, but it's, it's nice to have. Yeah, so I'll find another spot to put this one. And I think that's about it in here. I'm gonna wash these and they're gonna go somewhere else. So that's pretty good. Yeah, I pretty much like that. And let me see. And yeah, so anyways, guys, I hope you like this. This is really nice. I like it. And it fits really good. And it gave me a little section here just to put a little bit other extra stuff in there. So I think we'll be just fine with this. You know, you never know until you start using it if you like it where it is. And I might flip flop it. I don't know. I, obviously, I need some more of these. Only got three. Don't know what happened to the rest of them. Three what? Three small forks. And I only have one, two, I have four small spoons so I'll probably buy me some at Walmart if I don't buy real I just buy the everyday things because they do disappear they get in the garbage because people don't move them or they get lost when you use them for lunch at work and stuff like that so I'd better just to buy the cheaper ones so there you go nicey nice so anyways guys that's it for now. We're gonna um, basically uh, we're gonna start doing the spice rack. We're gonna um, start filling them up today. So uh, stay tuned. I'll, I'll do a little video on that. I'll do a, like a fast thing on there so you guys can see see that. So I'm gonna say I'm out for now and stay tuned. So bye for now. Monkey Sish is out. Bye.